Well, good morning, and it's Sunday morning uh, for me. It's day three of Moth Week. For most of you, it's day two. What I've done is I've emptied a trap, one of the hamper traps, and I've um, put the contents of one of those traps out on a white sheet so I could photograph some of the diversity that we get here at the house in Spokane, Washington. Some of the moth diversity, that is. So now I'm going to turn the camera on the sheet. This is in the morning, Sunday morning, when I have um, emptied one of the traps. So let's take a look at this. Here are some of the moths that came out of the trap. This is not all of the moths. Some are still in the trap. Some have left already uh, and flown off for the day. Let's zoom in and do a close-up on some of these and see if you can recognize some of these moths. The shapes of moths are different and once you get to know the moths you can kind of tell by the shape what family the moth might belong to. There are exceptions, of course. But I'll just quickly move the camera over some of these moths. And what we'll do is we'll go back over the families of some of these moths. Okay, well, let's do that. There are a lot of what we call noctuid moths here, but probably the one that catches your interest right away is the larger one here, which is one of the sphinx moths. This is in the genus Hylae. Hylae's galli is uh, the name of this moth. Probably the other moth that catches your attention right away is this little moth over here. This is one of the geometrid moths. Very common in this area. The next moth that probably catches your eye is this one. It's laying on its side. This is a notodontid moth. Furcula is uh, the genus for this one. And then we enter into some of the the uh, noctuid moths. Raphia. Sympistus. Vithymna. Lumpamia. Then over here we have a smaller moth. Notice the shape on this one. It's hard to see. Our chips. And then I'm moving the camera over here. It's hard for me to see that one. It looks like a spilotus, but it's not because of the light colored head. It's an amphipyra. This moth right here, another noctuid, Abrogotus. This is an unusual moth, isn't it? Kind of greenish colored. Zotheca, another noctuid. Here are two other prominent moths. Schizura. And then here's a little tartricid moth. You can't see it because of the, it's just so dark. Uh, Cydia, I suspect. An agricultural pest here. Spodoptera. And over here, very common, Noctua. 
and then next to it some very small moths and there are lots of these small moths and many of them belong to very different families and they're kind of difficult to identify but anyway this is some of the moths that we have from one trap this morning have a good day